today is Miss Sarah Mapes' dramatic play area that is based on bees and the different parts about them and purchasing honey and their habitats and what they eat and a little bit about making honey. So first we have the tent area and this is where they can fly out of the tent and act as if they use their imaginations to become bees and fly. And with that, we have a few different dress up things where we have a hat or we have wings. So the wings they can use to fly and the hat will be used for a pollination station. So let's discuss some of these things. We have a bee, we have some nectar, we have some hexagons to build a honeycomb and we have small jars, medium jars and large jars of honey. Let's see about those. And then we have gloves that they can use when they're in the pollination station, as well as the hat. So what they can do with this is they can take a bee and they will come over to the pollination station. And these will be color coded with different colors of the flowers that will be in there, as you can see. And what they will do is basically pick up a color and see that it says pink, the color pink, and they will read the word as well and match that. So they can take their B and match them to the color that it says on the card. And once they have their nectar, they can come over to drop their nectar here. And this is where their nectar is. So they would put it right here and bring some nectar from the other station. Now what they also can do in this station, let's put that back. So with the jars that I have showed, they can come over to the honeybee store and one student will be over here at the register working it as they will be exchanging money with each other. And right here is the key for a small jar is $1, a medium jar is $2, and a large jar is $3. So I have the jars to kind of show them that, and they will be taking the, the cards of the jars from the information center and bringing it over here as they would like to purchase it. So here's some money. It will actually be fake in real life. Right now we're using real dollars, but in dramatic play we'll be using fake for imagination. So they would use $1 for the small jars, 2 for the medium, and $3 for the large jars. Now also in the information center there are books that we will go over before the dramatic center dramatic play center comes into play and i will read the books to them and then they will have them to refer back to now we also have the bee life cycle on the wall for them to have a visual of how the bee is born and the different stages that they go through to become an adult before they're actually a bee and now last but not least we have a build a honey bee section where it's the parts of the honey, honey bee, and we will be going over that each part of their body before we get to the dramatic play area. And here's an example of what they will be making. So they will be using these different shapes. We have triangles, small circles, small rectangles, large ovals, small ovals, and hearts. And they will be gluing or taping them. I taped them, but I think gluing would be easier for them. So we have a couple of different activities for the students to engage with each other and develop their understanding of their colors and their language and literacy, as well as math and a little bit of science as they are learning about nectar and pollination. I hope you enjoyed.